Hey there, John from B2Web, uh, taking a quick overview look at the 1140 theme by Studio Press. It's a child theme that operates on the uh, Genesis theme framework. Uh, looking at uh, one uh, st somewhat distinctive feature of this theme is right here, this uh, what is called the title widget zone. This is, uh, it is a widget area, so it doesn't have to be text. You can input uh, video, uh, subscriber forms, ads, whatever you want. Uh, what's distinctive about this is that it doesn't just show up on the home page, it actually shows up on all of the pages. So if you go to pretty much any page on the website that you set up, it'll be there. Now, if you leave the widget zone uh, area blank because you, you don't want that on every page of your site, that's fine as well. As you can see that this has uh, a potential three column layout. You can also go with a two column or a full width layout if you like. So um, pulling down that you can look at your uh, six layout options for this particular theme. Uh, at this point most of the Studio Press trial themes have six layouts. However, there are, um, uh, recently I would probably say in the last 12 months or so there have been several that have been released that just have three layout options. The color schemes um, this is the orange, but you also can choose from blue, green, or red. Um, I'm not a big fan of the red or the green. It's got kind of a pastel, pinkish look to it. Uh, same with the green. Uh, I think the orange and the, uh, the blue is particularly nice. Um, but, you know, this, uh, this is uh, merely a design uh, opinion, and uh, really you're going to want to choose uh, the design that you like and that works for your, for your blog. Now I've been referring to this as a blog theme because that is what it is. It is not a business theme. It's, uh, as you can see, the home page is set up to be a um, blog post layout. So what we have here is we start with the uh, full uh, blog post. So you can have a recent or a featured post and then you have some under there and they go down like that. Uh, you can also set it up so that it splits. Uh, I have a screenshot in, the, uh, in my post on that, but you can have it where they not just line up one on top of the other, but they actually split into columns here as well. So that's up to you. Let's see if we can find out how do we get that. Anyways, you get the point. Um, yeah, here we go. It's uh, as you can see now they split left to right. All I had to do there is just widen the screen a little bit. I had it to condensed too narrow so that they were stacking rather than aligning left and right like that. So, And then you have your navigation at the bottom. At the very uh, bottom here we have uh, let me move there. We have uh, three widget zone areas for footer, so you can put your content in here. Um, because it is a footer area, the, these, uh, this content that you put in here will show up on every page or post of your website. Uh, other than that, it has a standard uh, Genesis theme framework features uh, that you're going to get. It has a built-in SEO panel and uh, has like featured posts, recent posts, uh, uses custom menus that come with WordPress, and uh, it, it's basically a, a, an excellent blogging platform. Uh, now let's uh, take a look at the back end of this theme so you can see how uh, install it. Uh, and setting up your settings as well as uh, look at the widget panel to see how to set that up. So I'm in the dashboard here with the uh, 1140 theme installed. If you want to uh, know how to install a uh, parent-child theme framework with the Genesis, it's really simple. I already have it installed here, current theme 1140. What you do is you install the Genesis theme. It's the parent theme first, right? Uh, and then you go ahead and install the uh, zip file 1140. So if you're new to WordPress, you simply uh, upload through here. You take the install themes and you just uh, upload, click that, it'll step you through it. Uh, upload Genesis then and activate it and upload your 1140 or whichever child theme you're going to use with uh, StudioPress. The next uh, thing you want to take a look at is the actual Genesis theme settings. And it's a fairly simple theme settings page. Um, right here you can choose with your color styles, the defaults, the orange. And this is cool, you've got uh, layout options, those six layouts that I had mentioned, uh, content sidebar, sidebar content, content double sidebar, double sidebar content, three column uh, content in the middle and full width. Header, you can upload a custom logo if you like or just use the dynamic text. You can uh, choose whether to have two navigation, horizontal navigation menus at the top of at the blog or one or none. You just, if you don't want any, you just uh, 
and click them like that. If you just want the primary, you go like that. You, uh, it's best to set up, in my view, all of your menus through the WordPress custom menus, and that's found under the appearance. So you would just go into menus and you can set those up. And you can create as many menus as you like and place whatever direct uh, uh, URLs to any particular page categories, um, blog posts specifically, and you have full customized control over the menus you create. Now, you don't have to just create two menus to uh, attach to either primary and or the secondary navigation. You can create more menus and place them in your various sidebars. Breadcrumbs, you can choose whether to have them on um, whichever pages uh, and archives that you wish to have. Same with the comments, you can enable comments on po posts and or pages. Now uh, your archives, this is how your, um, you know, your if you have a, let's say a category of, uh, uh, I don't know, German Shepherd dogs on your website, you can, and somebody clicks the category, you can dictate how that category page will display with all the various blog posts. So you can limit it to a certain number of characters so that you create uh, excerpts uh, and then a series of blog posts, or you can display, uh, if you put, leave that blank, it'll show the uh, whole uh, post and you can dictate how your image feature images will show up then your blog page you can uh, if you have a dedicated blog page which is a blog template that you choose from inside of an add page uh, display menu you can choose whether you can display all the categories or choose from uh, any of your specific categories and you can show the number of posts that it will display on the actual blog page header and footer scripts. Now, I don't use these extensively except I do put my Google Analytics code in the uh, header script here for tracking statistics. Moving on uh, quickly, uh, the SEO settings, it's a fairly straightforward, it's a, I really love the Genesis SEO panel. I use it rather than a plugin. However, there are some great SEO plugins you can use if that's what you prefer. Um, you know, there's lots of debate how, how best to set up most of this. I don't get too, too wrapped up about it. Uh, what I you may want to attach this is personal whether you want to attach a site description to the doc title on home page and whether you want to append the site name to your to your inner pages then by doing that what happens is the site name will show up in the uh, Google listings as well um, I do on some sites and I don't on others so uh, and then you set up your home page settings so this is you know you target your keywords and and so forth uh, onto your uh, home, just for your home page you're able to dictate your 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 meta title and your description inside each page and post so don't worry that you only have one of these screens to work with you can no index certain pages like particularly the home page you can also no index no follow no archive any individual poster page and you can you Pretty much have a lot of control on how you deal with your robots metadata if you don't know um, any of this and this is all looking like uh, uh, basically you have no idea what any of this means um, go with what's by the default and if you really want to find out what you should do uh, hire an SEO consultant to uh, to take a look at this for you and get an idea exactly what you want to do with your site to set this up properly for you uh, I shouldn't really say properly because it's you know the default is generally what I go with so and then always hit your safe settings so that's your uh, SEO panel now let's take a look at the um, custom menus it's pretty straightforward you have to play around with it um, I've created a number of menus these are your menus if you want to create a new menu you just hit the plus and then you you assign a particular so right now we have the top nav menu here and then I can assign that here to um, well, actually, I have a I have this cool Uber menu um, plugin attached. So um, ignore this Uber menu locations. It's here the theme locations that you're going to see in yours. You can assign then the top nav to the primary navigation, and then you can assign a different navigation to um, this part. Just be sure that if uh, you have both your uh, navigation menus activated in the theme settings, because you might get frustrated if you wonder why your navigation menus aren't showing up. Then you can add custom links to any particular post or page to any particular menu. Uh, this is the top nav menu that's active. If we wanted to switch out a menu, we just click that. And now we can uh, modify, add to, or remove uh, items on the sidebar menu. I just call it sidebar. You can call it whatever you want. You can add pages to it. You can add categories to your menu. Um, so you get full control over all of your menus. 
Finally, uh, we'll take a look at the widget panel. This is where you're going to set up uh, your sidebar or sidebars. And here's that distinctive feature that you get with the 1140s, that page title. So you can put uh, pretty much uh, anything in here. I have a text widget in there right now, but you could put in, uh, you can put menus in there, you can put a video, you could put uh, featured posts, you can put a uh, subscription form banner ad, whatever you like. It's uh, it's a bit of a wide open large widget zone that spans the full width of the page and it will display on every page and post. There's an after post uh, widget here. This is something that shows up after your post uh, on every post. So if you're going to put something there, uh, put something that you would want to have displayed on every single post of your um, website. And then here are those three widget zones. So you can leave them blank if you like and then not have a widgetized footer section and just go with the with the very, very bottom footer. Uh, often I do that on my websites, but uh, it, de it depends if you have information like menus and that sort of thing you want to display on uh, down at the bottom of your website. So it's a simple widget. Uh, widget panel here to deal with. Really the big decision I think what you're going to need to do is uh, figure out what you're going to want to do with this page title section. That in a nutshell is the overview of the 1140 um, child theme by Studio Press. Uh, so it's a, it's essentially a blogging theme and uh, you know if you like it and you like the layout, the color and everything else about it, um, go to it, give it a try. Uh, if you ever need to um, you want to change things about it, uh, particularly the style and design. You have to go into your style sheet here. That's the editor. Uh, obviously, you need to know some uh, CSS style sheet uh, coding. It's not that difficult to learn. And if you know run your own website, it's not a bad thing to learn. The other files that we see, um, it's really simple because we're operating at the child theme level here. You do not want to edit your Genesis theme um, through your web hosting account. And the reason for that is, is if you uh, update Genesis and it's regularly uh, updated from Studio Press, you're going to lose your changes. So try to you know restrict your modifications to your child theme and you can uh, you know modify your home page modify your theme functions you can add a home page on here if you like um, but if you're going to radically change the entire layout of this uh, particular theme you might consider just going with a different theme from studio press so thanks